Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here and welcome to JH Soft Tech. And in this session, I'm going to discuss with you all the SAP S4 HANA ABAP CDS View Real-Time Project on a creation of a CDS View Part 2. So in the SAP S4 HANA CDS Views uh, Real-Time Scenarios, uh, I'm going to discuss in this the project 2 in which we'll be creating a simple CDS view to get purchase order header and item data. So we're going to achieve this task by getting the data from two different tables, EKKO, EKPO, sales order header and item data, making use of a join. And we are going to write this logic in the CDS view right now uh, in, in the HANA studio. And if at all, if you are looking for SAP trainings, full time, uh, full uh, SAP full, full fledged trainings, you can contact us at info at jfsoftic.com. So here I'm going into the into the ABAP perspectives. So I'm going to the Windows perspective, Open perspective, and others. And then we have the ABAP perspective. Uh, I'm opening the ABAP perspective. You can also uh, do this from the Eclipse uh, Eclipse framework. So here, once we open the uh, open this ABAP perspective, so here uh, I have uh, local objects in the local objects. I have core data services, and uh, I have a couple of core data services here, and then we have the data definitions here. So we're going to discuss about the access controls and uh, uh, metadata later. So uh, I'm creating a data definition here. Right click on this and create a new data definition is what we'll click here. And I'll be creating it something like ZJSoftTech underscore purchase one. Uh, and I'm, I'm writing here ZJSoftTech purchase data. Click on next. Next again, and here you will be having this uh, data data, data uh, define view, define view with join is what we need to select, and uh, you need to, uh, you know, uh, we need to get this in, uh, uh, you know, data view with join. In the previous session, I've discussed a data define view, a simple view uh, with a single table. Now uh, I've selected the define view with join and click on finish. And once you get this particular uh, screen, we need to update this with the data. Okay, I'll close this for a minute. And here we need to update this with the EKKO and EKPO uh, fields. Uh, I'm going to write the logic here for the JSOFT purchase data. So this is a this is a system generated uh, code that we need to update with the with the values that we would like to have. So what I'll do here is the first and foremost is that I'll change this SQL view name as something like ZJSoftTech underscore PUR nine something like that. So PUR9, this is, uh, we do have an underscore here, not a space. So this is a SQL a view name that I have changed here. And the defined view, that view name uh, remains the same as we have, we are seeing on the screen, it's system generated according to what is the view name that we have given there. And as select from the data source name here would be, the first name would be EKKO. And here in a join, and the join name would be on EKPO. And here the name will be EBELN. The field name is EBELN. And here as well, the name is EBELN. And we would select a couple of fields like we anyways need that EKKO. EKKO dot EBLN is anyways required 
and uh, then I have ekko dot um, so we have ekko dot erdat or aedat we'll go check what what uh, fields we have the data for in the system then it it makes sense for us to do that so i'll make a note of this we have txz01 and uh, matnr ematn okay so i'll go ahead and check the ekko table and in the ekko table we have data related to um, you know uh, various fields so i'll go ahead and uh, check the contents here and in the contents we have data for ebl and bu caras uh, aedat lifnr so let me take these fields ebl and have already taken bu caras and bsart is what i'll take from the ekko table bu caras ekko dot b S A R T. So you can get this in the predictions. Double click on it, comma. And now we are going ahead to EKPO table. So in EKPO table, I'll not be taking E D E L N because it's already been taken uh, from the EKKO table. Doesn't make sense. It even throws error for that. And we have something like E B E L P. Uh, and then we have T X Z zero one. TXZ01 and MATNR. Let's take TXX01 and uh, MATNR. TXZ01, comma, EKPO dot MATNR, the last one. That's it. So these are the fields that we have here. Uh, and uh, the common field, okay. So the common field here is EBELN. That's it. So uh, I, what I did is I repeat, I change the name of the SQL view name here. And then in the defined view, we have given, uh, you know, it's, it's predefined according to what the view name that we have given in the previous screen. And uh, we have given the EKKO as select from was generated by the system. EKKO left, left outer join EKPO on ekkvo.ebln is equals to ekpo.ebln and then we are writing the field names uh, what are the field names we are we want and from which table we want it is what we have written here so just say okay syntax check and uh, yeah once it's been done just activate it so it's activated and um, uh, I'll discuss about these warnings later. So how to avoid these things. Okay. Now here we have done this and you can scroll down and uh, check the check the data definition here. We can see ZJ of tech uh, purchase or purchase zero one. So we can go with open with data preview. And you do have the data here from the tables that we have uh, chosen. So with this, we are actually joining two tables and getting the data into a single screen. Uh, and uh, we have created a CDS view successfully from this. And now that we have successfully created the uh, CDS view with two different tables, uh, we'll go back and check in the ECC, so I mean like uh, the ECC server where uh, we'll be check checking this particular view. This view would be created in the server. So let's go ahead and check that. So I'm copying this view name here. And a view would be created in the database with this particular name. So we'll go with that. So here we have this display and we have these fields here and uh, uh, we have these fields that we have taken from both the tables uh, EKKO and EKPO and we can check the contents here and we would be getting the contents from both the tables here 
so we can give some restrictions according to the restrictions data data will be extracted from both the tables so this is a, what has been created the auto generated by the system uh, a, a sql view here you can see that this is a ddl sql view uh, and uh, this gets created in the back end so even the join conditions are already been created in the back end so wherever, whenever we are writing a cds view in the uh, in the, in the hana abap we are going to have this view getting generated in the backend in the database and we can make use of this data uh, view for further purposes which we are going to discuss in the coming sessions so this completes our simple second simple series view in the first simple series view we have actually created a, 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 a view on a single table now we are doing it on the two tables that's the difference here in the coming session i am going to discuss with you uh, uh, other other different types of uh, series views with various op uh, various options i'll just show you this so when we when we create a say okay i'll go for sample here So here we have uh, different types of uh, you know CDS views that we can create. Defined view is what we have defined discussed in the first session, uh, and in the second session we are discussing about the with join. And in the coming session we'll discuss about a particular CDS view with uh, a view with association, and uh, defined view with parameters, extend view, and uh, define table functions with parameters, define abstract entity. And define abstract entity with parameters are all the things that we are going to discuss. These are all the various options that we have in creation of CDS views, and we're going to explore all these uh, options and in creation of the CDS views. And uh, furthermore, in the coming sessions, we are going to discuss how these CDS views can be consumed uh, in further projects. Is what we're going to discuss after that. Okay. So this is uh, what is uh, in the, uh, this as far as the session is concerned. Thanks for watching this session and if at all if you are looking out for a full fledged SAP S4 HANA trainings uh, you can contact us at info at .com. and if you like your like our videos do share them with your friends it would help them as well and for more such videos do subscribe to our channel and also suggest your friends to subscribe to our channel for best uh, knowledge on, uh, on all different types of softwares uh, uh, to learn uh, online okay have a great day thank you